this evening. Uh, happy to be here. Okay, and uh, you, we're speaking here with the San Marcos area Republican uh, team about some of the things that are going on in Congress. I know this is a very busy time for you. Appreciate you coming down. But your district does border into the area, and we have some of our viewers that are here in Comal County and in uh, Travis County. And um, I know you talked a little bit earlier during this about the... Um, some of the spending that's going on here uh, for the flood control in uh, uh, Comal County. And right. I want to ask you just if you could elaborate on that a little bit. I'd be happy to, and you're right. I represent Comal County, part of Travis County, uh, Blanco County on the west. And for several years, uh, 8 to 11 years ago, something like that, I represented Hayes County as well. And so it's good to be back and uh, see some friends and, and support this Republican organization's meeting as well. Um, on, on the money that I mentioned on, on flood control for Comal County, that was initial money that I was ha happy to be able to get from the federal government to build dams and to build uh, devices that were going to re reduce the danger of floods in the future. And that to me is an example of a good use of federal funds as opposed to some of the earmarks that we hear about or read about, which are added to a bill in the dark of night, they don't do any public good, they're to benefit some individual or some contributor. Uh, the federal spending that is done, for example, to save lives because of and reducing the threat of floods, I think is money well spent. I should, ha I should say that uh, I was happy to do this, but I also have seen the floods in Comal County firsthand. Uh, I have represented Comal County now for a number of years, and all three of the major floods that have occurred now in the last 15 years, I've gone to Comal County, I've uh, frankly, waited in the streets, uh, and I've seen the houses floating down uh, the Guadalupe River from helicopters, and I want to do everything I can to stop that from happening in the future, and that's why I was able to get some of the funds for that, some of the Comal uh, County flood control to uh, devices. Well, and personally, I had to clean out my office in New Braunfels uh, after Red uh, had uh, oh, about three foot of water uh, oh, in that God. in June, so uh, I can appreciate that as well. And, you know, one of the other things that you talked about was the emphasis on curbing the deficit. Yes. And that is one of the key things with the Republican majority in the House that you're going to be working yeah. on. And you talked about good earmarks and bad earmarks. What do you see happening this time around to, uh, right. to curb the deficit? Um, well, you're right. We have a record deficit this year, thanks to the Obama administration, around $1.4 trillion. Uh, and that's not the kind of record we should be setting. You are going to see Republicans in the House actually propose a budget that is going to cut perhaps up to $100 billion. We'd like to go back to 08 spending levels prior to the Obama administration and see if we can't get on the road towards and trajectory going to a balanced budget. It may take a few years, but we have to get back to a balanced budget in order to put our economic house in order. Right now, with this amount of deficit spending, that's a drag on the economy, it's a burden on future generations, and uh, we need to uh, if, we, if we can stop the excessive federal spending, we'll have better economic growth, we'll be able to bring the un unemployment rate down, and that's going to be good for everybody. Okay. And one last quick question, because I realize you've got to go and appreciate the time. But as chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, what is the probably the most single uh, uh, most important thing that you see that's going to be facing you as chairman uh, of that committee this well, time around? Well, as chairman of the Judiciary Committee, every single hearing we're going to have the next two or three jobs is going to be about job creation. Anything that we can touch, get our hands on, any policy that's going to create jobs, that's what we want to do. Second goal is to cut spending. If uh, there are a lot of grants that the Department of Justice has been issuing that we think are not worthwhile, we want to cut out those grants and try to reduce spending there. The other thing we want to do is expand freedom, expand liberty. And that means fewer government regulations. I have a bill to do that that's coming through the Judiciary Committee. Uh, we obviously want to keep taxes low. We want to get the government uh, out of the pockets of the American people and stop the government from trying to control private uh, companies in the free enterprise system. So we have a lot on our plate. We're giving it a good try. And I think the American people are going to be glad they trusted us and give us one more chance to do it right. Representative Lamar Smith, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, we'll let you go so you can catch the end of the Super Bowl. And uh, thank you very <laughs> much for your time. Rob Rourke, We the People, and SMTX-TV.